I have laid the foundation for humanity's survival. And not as we have narrowly defined. Take him from here. Don't struggle, it's no use. Until you're where he wants you, there's nothing you can do. I'm sorry, Gordon. Gaslights, inhabited by vast meteorological impacts. 
intelligences, worlds stretched thin across the membranes where the dimensions intersect. Impossible to describe with our limited vocabulary. What I've seen is also beyond words, Green. Genocide, indescribable evil. Good God. Well, if it isn't Gordon Freeman at last. What's this? I'll put it over there. You have my gratitude, Doctor. First you lead me straight to the doorstep of my oldest friend, and then you deliver yourself. If I'd known you were going to come straight up to my office, I wouldn't have bothered hunting you in the first place. Having both of you in my keeping ensures I can dictate the terms of any bargain I care to make with a Combine. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Green. Huh. Wallace. Yes, Judith, what is it? The bargain we should be making is for Eli's life so he can continue his research. Fuck you! You are more than qualified to finish his research yourself. What neither you nor I can do is convince that rabble in the streets to give up their senseless struggle. Yet Eli refuses to speak the words that would save them all. Save them? For what? Eli, if you won't do the right thing for the good of all people, maybe you'll do it for one of them. Alex, honey. Dad. Gordon? No. God damn you, Breen, you let her go. That's all up to you, my old friend. Will you let your stubborn short-sightedness doom the entire species, or will you give your child the chance her mother never had? <laughs> How dare you even mention her? Alex, my dear, you have your mother's eyes, but your father's stubborn nature. You haven't seen a bit of it yet. Really? Well, let's see how well it serves you on the far side of a combined portal. Go ahead, Bree. <laughs> if that's the worst you can do, send us both through your portal. <sighs> oh, it's hardly the worst. But you might find that hard to believe once you get there. It isn't necessary. I agree. It's a total waste. Fortunately, the Resistance has shown it is willing to accept a new leader. And this one has proven to be a fine pawn for those who control him. No! Don't listen to him, Gordon. How about it, Dr. Freeman? Did you realize your contract was open to the highest bidder? Gordon would never make any kind of deal with you. I understand if you don't wish to discuss this in front of your friends. I'll send them on their way, and then we can talk openly. Don't struggle, honey. Dad, I'm so sorry. Alex, sweetheart. Oh. Judith, what do you think you're doing? We're doing what I could never do alone. We're stopping you. Yes. Guards, get in here. They know you betrayed them. They'll turn on you. Judith, Dr. Mossman, please. I'm sorry, Wallace. You're all out of time. Don't. You fool! Watch out, he's gonna- No! Dad! No, 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 no. Don't worry about me, honey. There's no time, Alex. He's on his way to the portal. You'll need this. Dr. Mossman, Judith, look after my father. Don't you worry. Dad, I'm not saying goodbye. Never. Come on, Gordon. Let's go. Come on, girl. Gordon, we haven't known each other very long, but... I know you didn't have to do this. I had to rescue my father, but you... Well... Thanks for coming after me. It's me. Hey, listen. I can still deliver That's him. The portal destination is untenable, surely, except the real There's no way I can survive in that burn. A host body must be choked, and I can't. There he is. Oh, all right, damn it. That's what it takes. Just hurry. He's right behind me. Oh, shit. Damn it. Not again. <laughs> Gun. <laughs> he 
He doesn't have a clue, does he? I wonder where he's going. their tunneling entanglement device. We'll never have a chance like this again. We've got to stop Dr. Breen. I can't shut it down. Looks like he's turned over control to the other side. You'll have to go into the core and do what you can. Get in the elevator and I'll let you in. Don't forget to charge up your seat.
Dr. Freeman? Is it really that time again? It seems as if you only just arrived. You've done a great deal in a small time span. You've done so well, in fact, that I've received some interesting offers for your services. Ordinarily, I wouldn't contemplate them, but these are extraordinary times. Hmm? <gasps> Rather than offer you the illusion of free choice, I will take the liberty of choosing for you. If and when your time comes round again. I do apologize for what must seem to you an arbitrary imposition, Dr. Freeman. I trust it will all make sense to you in the course of... Well, I'm really not at liberty to say. In the meantime, this is where I get off. Switch it up like...